What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer. Welcome to another video. So, um, two part video. First part is, uh, we just got a new rig. Um, we built the computer on stream. I'm, I'm looking at maybe highlighting the video. <laughs> it was my first computer I ever built. Um, but I was able to get the computer with the parts due to the tremendous support that we've received, uh, you know, on Twitch from, you know, followers, you know, and subscribers from YouTube. So I just wanted to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, we are moving forward, uh, definitely, you know, in a good way, quality way. Uh, so we're able to do more things, uh, stream in higher quality, uh, you know, and bring a better product to you guys so first before we start the video I just wanted to say thank you guys and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart um, and we've come a long long way <laughs> all right so now that we got that out of the way uh, today's video is gonna be um, a very important topic okay um, I've done a lot of you know thinking about this topic uh, pondering how to deliver it uh, but the goal of this video is to help you guys decide whether or not you guys are gonna do scenario or Keros and when you guys should should get into Keros or if you should continue to do scenario so I want to give you guys um, both sides of the coin to to arm you with the tools that you guys will need uh, in order to to be successful um, at the end of the day it's it's going to be based on your preference which one you would rather grind more whether you'd rather grind the map or you rather grind Keros um, I'm personally a Keros fan but I'm I, I'm going to not allow that bias <laughs> to uh, you know stress this video so again pros and cons of both and then you guys can decide from there uh, whether or not uh, either Carol Street is for you initially uh, even though you'll end up there anyway and uh, or or you can farm scenarios okay so first off um, guys the reason why we're going to talk about this video is because Carol's to scenarios is, is pretty much you know in progression you know, you'll start off scenarios, uh, Khan will start you off, they'll give you this garbage tutorial, and then they'll just throw you like right in the middle of everything and be like, here you go, fend for yourself. So then it's up to you as a player to decide what to do, or not really decide, but to figure out. So I want to educate you guys and arm you with the tools that you guys need on whether or not you guys should stay in scenario or go straight to Keros. So the benefits to scenario, uh, you know, there are a lot of benefits to staying in scenario. First, let me explain to you guys how the scenario works. So the scenario works is typically there's three difficulties, normal, hard, and hell. Um, the amount of units that you can use depend on obviously what difficulty you can you uh, are able to do. The drop info will always tell you you have an opportunity to get three star, um, you know, monsters, one star, two star, etc. And they'll always list them there. You also have the opportunity to get runes. Um, in normal mode, you have a chance to get one and two star runes. Um, two star being at the boss stage. Uh, hard mode, you get two star runes all the way through and three star runes um, at the boss stage. Just kidding. Two and three star runes. And then um, then at the boss stage, you have a chance to get four star runes. There we go. And then uh, when you get into hell, you'll get three and four star runes with a chance to get five star runes at the boss. Yeah, I got, got a little mixed up there, but that's typically how it works. Um, so when you guys are going through... Uh, the question is, with scenarios, can you just farm runes in scenarios? Of course you can. Um, the pros to that are, A, um, chances, you know, you're going to get quite a bit of, you know, one and two star fodder if that's your thing. If you guys, if you guys, if leveling is your thing, then you'll get lots of one and two star fodder that you can continue to level endlessly. Endlessly. Also, another benefit is, you get to farm skill ups okay Th this is probably the biggest benefit like if you guys haven't skilled up your monsters basically skilling up your monsters is going to your power up circle um let's say you guys are you know you have the light inugami and you want to get skills for the light inugami if you look at your monster there are skills that are grayed out right and those skills uh, when they become darkened means that the skill leveled up how you do that is you take let's say a water inugami and you feed another inugami of it to of any element to that inugami in the power up circle and then that will level up their skills so case in point is if you guys have light inugami and you guys are trying to level up your light inugami um the light inugami let's say you're farming in garen forest uh the drop rate doesn't change by much through difficulty so you guys can farm any difficulty you want i prefer the fastest so you have more chances to get <laughs> the inugami honestly um but that's how you skill up a monster. And that's one of the major benefits of scenario farming. Um, depending on your luck, um, you can also farm 
uh, full five star sets of runes and it's it's more particular in scenarios because all you have to do is basically go to the stage of the rune that you want like for instance if you're farming fatal um, if you're farming um, blade you know whatever whatever runes you're looking for uh, granted the slots won't be guaranteed but all you'll essentially have to do is farm the hell stage um, you know with your units uh, with whatever you're doing with the team and you can essentially stay in scenario until you have full five star sets if that's what you want it to do so those you know those are basically the pros um, to farm scenario you have um, you know obviously you can get fodder unlimited not unlimited fodder but skill up fodder um, you know other fodder you do have a chance to still get rainbow mon in in um, in scenarios two two star rainbow mon as you guys move into um, you know move past Fame of Volcano. Uh, Fame of Volcano has uh, normal and hard have the best energy return ratios for you know leveling. Uh, what else? Uh, you can make some pretty good money from Aiden Forest all the way to Chiruka Remains, especially on Hell for selling the runes. Um, so it's you know pretty decent cash flow. Uh, again, you know probably not as good as Carol's, but if you guys are spending a considerable amount of time in um, you know in the scenarios, it can be beneficial to you. So those are the major benefits to, to just staying in scenario if that's what you want to do. Now there are cons to scenario. The cons are um, you can only get up to green, uh, I can't remember the grade, but uh, it goes white, green, blue, purple, and then orange, right? And obviously orange is the highest and then white is the lowest. If you guys played any kind of like MMOs, you guys kind of understand the quality. But you can only get maximum of green um, in scenario. So you're not going to get the best runes in the game, uh, farming scenario. Also, uh, you're only going to max out a two-star max rainbow angelmon. Um, and then the fodder, fodder drop rates in terms of fodder, like actual three-star fodder is quite low. Um, so you could spend a considerable amount of time. The problem you're most likely going to run into if you spend most of your time in the scenario is that you're going to run out of fodder quickly. Um, you know, because of the fact that you're going to be leveling so quickly because the XP ratio is a lot higher in scenarios because honestly it's made for farming, uh, you're going to burn through your fodder very fast. Um, and what that's going to cause you to do is put you in a situation where A, you're going to need to spend money to get packs or, you know, obviously buy fodder um, and, you know, other things or whatever you need to do to get fodder. And that's, that, that's honestly, those are going to be the major drawbacks. Um, to scenario. It's not going to really put you in a position uh, where you can reap maximum benefit in the game. Um, so in terms of XP, great. XP, awesome. Uh, if you need skill ups, probably the best, you know, especially if you don't want to do Karos. Um, but then the cons, of course, is you're limited to a ceiling. Um, and then obviously you're going to burn through your fodder quickly, which can cost you a lot of resources, um, you know, crystal wise especially if you're not a free-to-play player um when you run out of resources okay now so that that's pretty much scenario so again typically most players are going to start off in scenario i recommend starting off in the scenario at least until you guys get a you know basic three star set three star to four star set that's basically hard mode or hell mode um all the way to, until uh hide night ruins uh, high night runes, you start getting guard, and you're not really worried about guard early on. But Garen Forest, Mount Sis, Kabir, Mount White, Ragone, and Tulane Forest are typically the only dungeons that you guys are going to need uh, to get basic rune sets on the monsters that you guys are, you know, either getting or capturing, got to catch them all or whatever, um, that will allow you to move into Keros. Okay, so that's typically the transition. Uh, you'll hear a lot of talk about faming, guys, and I just want to put this in this video while we're talking about this. This is completely off topic. But stop worrying, especially if you guys are beginning to mid-level players. Stop worrying about farming Feynman, okay? Uh, Feynman normal is great. Feynman hard is cool if you can do it. But stop worrying about Feynman hell. Because um, chances are your runes aren't going to be anywhere near fame and hell until much, much later, guys. So don't stress yourself out about fame and hell. Yes, fame and is great. But there are other stages that can help you on hell mode that are a lot easier uh, for you to do specifically based on your own individual kit. Um, but my, my tip is find the element that, you know, like if you happen to build a wind attacker, find a place like Hide Night Ruins where there's all water monsters there that you can farm efficiently. If you've built fire monsters, go to Tamor Desert and crush all the wind monsters, etc. And if you guys are still, uh, you know, early on in the game and don't, you know, you're struggling finding a place to farm, you guys are trying to build units like Ramagos and Degora who take 15 years to farm, don't do that. 
um, just use your um, you know just use your 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 regular strength monsters and go to Mount Sis. Mount Sis is honestly the easiest health stage to farm. Stage one, two, and three based on your element. Um, if you're a fire, go to stage one. If you're water, go to stage two. And if you're wind, building a wind monster, go to stage three. Easiest health stage to farm. Most three star monsters with mediocre runes can do it. Um, especially if you're running a team and you're trying to level four monsters at a time. Super easy to do until you get better runes to make your team more efficient. So uh, that's what I will focus on for you guys. Now, uh, enough of that jib jab. I got off topic. So now. My favorite place. Again, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try to not let my bias influence this. Again, this is a pros and cons video to help you guys decide which route you guys are gonna take and where you're gonna spend most of your time. So, Carols, let's do let's do the cons first. Okay. So, cons of Carols is it's more difficult. Okay. You have to pay more attention to what your team is doing, and it's typically the requirements are a little bit steeper. But typically, early stage, as long as you have a healer and a buffer, you can do most of Karos, especially B1 to B6 on most things, except for Necro. Necro is a little different, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, typically, in Karos, is going to be a progression. So that's also a con, because you have to kind of you have to have some stick to and you have to go linear, um, which can be tough, um, especially when you, you, you have tendencies and want to go to Dragon or Necro or do the raid or, you know, whatever. Yes, the raid is not in Karos, I get that. Um... Th that's another con. Um, another con. You're not making a lot of XP here. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm kind of stubborn, so personally, I'll level up a unit to like level 15 if they have good runes and take them right into Karos because typically it'll work if your team synergy is there, and I'll just level them because I know I'm going to spend an inordinate amount of time in Karos anyway. Um, and that leads me to another con about Karos is you're going to spend eternity in Karos, okay? Let me say that to you guys again. Eternity. Every single aspect of the game that you end up in until you guys are farming R4 or R5, you guys are going to be farming the hell out of Giants 10, Dragons 10, and you will be farming essences for the rest of your existence, right? So it's kind of one-sided, which, you know, there's not much variety. I mean, there's variety on each floor, but there's not much variety to Karos. So that's another con that you're going to run into. Um... Are there any other major cons to Karos? Mm, not typically. Um, but that's it, guys. I mean, for cons-wise, you know, you're shitty XP. Um, you know, so you're not going to be able to level here. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, a lot more difficult, and it's super linear and kind of bland, right? It's it's Farmer City, honestly, in and, and Karos, because that's all you're doing is once you get to a certain level in the game, you're doing the same thing over and 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 over, and over again, right? But that leads me to the benefits of Karos. Now, the benefits of Karos, and, you know, when I talk about it in my videos, I recommend Karos over scenarios or to get in Karos as soon as you can. Um, it's the opposite of, of the scenarios, obviously. So even with the low XP, you still have a chance to make a crap ton of mana in here. Um, you can make a lot of mana depending on where you're at in the game. Um, Karos will allow you to focus all of your energy and get all of the benefits all at one time. So for instance, you can get a ton of fodder because two star max rainbow mon drop in Karos all the way up to B7. At B7, three star max rainbow mon starts dropping. And what that means to you guys, if you guys don't know how to use rainbow mon, is all you do is you take the little two star max or the three star max, you go to the power up circle, you feed them whatever grade monsters that match. They evolve to the next grade and you just leave them there. So a three star max rainbow angelmon essentially turns into an automatic four star. Two star max rainbow angelmon turns into an automatic three star. So you have a chance to get automatic four stars, right? So that, for me personally, that's a huge benefit. And that saves an inordinate amount of time, you know, personally, especially if you hate farming or leveling scenarios. Uh, in scenarios, uh, that could be a huge benefit. So you get, you'll, you'll get endless fodder. Um, people complain a lot about Unknown Scrolls, but the beautiful thing about Unknown Scrolls is, um, this could be a benefit or a con, Unknown Scrolls, guys. Um, but Unknown Scrolls helps you, farm, you know, pull one and two star monsters, specifically two star monsters, to max, to evolve your two star, your tons and loads of two star max rainbow angel mon that you guys are going to get. So, um, you guys with money, you guys can, uh, you know, come in Karos and get a lot of fodder. Uh, easy fodder, fodder you don't even have to ask questions about. And the reason why I say ask questions about, because you don't have to question, do I need to build this monster? Is a rainbow angel mon good? 
nah. <laughs> you just evolve that little asshole and then you just beat him. <laughs> That's it. Done. Right? So it takes a lot of the confusion out of the game. So um, the biggest benefit okay, of Karos, other than you know mana, other than plenty of fodder, um, the biggest benefit is going to be that you get the best runes in the game. Well, actually, no, this is, a, this is the second biggest. Second biggest. So second biggest benefit, obviously, you get the best runes in the game. This is where you're going to find all your blue grade runes and above. You can find them nowhere else unless you get them in a wish um, or world boss or, you know, somewhere else. Uh, but you'll find the best runes in the game in Karos, period. This is where you're going to max out your runes. This is where you're going to get your crazy stub stats. This is where progression happens, no matter what. And that's what I feel the second biggest benefit is. Now, the first, drum roll, biggest benefit to Karos Dungeon is Mystical Scrolls drop here. Bottom line, Mystical Scrolls drop here, Summoning Stones drop here. Um, and, uh, of course, transmogrification pieces, but we don't count those because those drop once in a millennia, so nobody cares. Um, but your biggest benefit to Karos is that Mystical Scrolls drop in Karos and Summoning Stones. So while you're farming here, not only do you get fodder, not only do you get money, not only do you get the best rooms in the game to position yourself um, in the best position that you can, but you also get Mystical Scrolls here. And, and honestly, like, you know, that's one of the big joys of the game is chasing lightning, right? I don't deny the fact that I'm a lightning chaser. I do. But I've learned more efficient ways to chase lightning. So more efficient ways to chase lightning, is, again, like, you know, to rehash on a previous video is stop buying summoning packs, get into Karos. You're going to spend all of eternity anyway in Karos, so you might as well enjoy and reap the benefits. And the benefits of that are Mystical Scrolls. Save up Mystical Scrolls. I did 70 summons in a month on 3,000 crystals. I mean, that's, you know, just saying. So, you know, Carol's Dungeon, whether it's, you know, if you're farming Essences or just, you know, farm Giant's Key, Dragon Slayer, Necropolis, whichever one you guys are on, uh, Mystical Scrolls drop here, guys. So you don't need to be, waste your crystals, your refill crystals, um, you know, your life essence in the game, your ability to play Summoner's War on summoning packs when you could just spend that same 750 crystals in here and get you know who knows how many scrolls, let alone the mana that you make from Carol's, so you can buy more scrolls in the shop. Does that make sense? So it puts you guys in a position to win. Yes, um, again, this is arguable. Some people will prefer scenarios. Some people will prefer Karos. Uh, but these are the two basics between whether you should do scenario or whether you should do Karos. And you guys really just have to decide. Ultimately, it's, it's going to be up to you. Um, either way, you're going to do both. It's just you have to decide which one you're going to predominantly spend more of your time. Um, up front in the beginning uh, in the end you'll spend all your time in Karos anyway, so It's it's essentially up to you. So that's it guys uh, that covers it Hopefully this helped you guys give it a like if you guys enjoyed the video that this helped you guys uh, You know help fill in some gaps as to whether you should do scenario for an inordinate amount of time or whether you should do Karos um, Thumb it down if you hated it if you didn't learn shit <laughs> and as always oh wait before I end this um, crap there was an idea that I had. Oh, so if you guys choose Karos, um, the question I got the other day was, how do you know, when, when is it time to go back and make six stars? It's time to go back to make six stars when you don't have any room in your <laughs> in your inventory anymore because you have so many rainbow mod. <laughs> that's that's typically when I when I go. Uh, hey, yeah, go make some six stars because then you have enough fodder to do what you need to do. You rinse repeat, you get your free XP for the monthlies, for the daily rewards or whatever, and then you go make fodder. Uh, you farm it out and then you come back. Uh, but yeah, just want to answer that question. But yeah, but seriously, this time, guys, that's it. I uh, love you guys to death. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support uh, as we fly past 5,000 subscribers, guys. Uh, let's get to 10,000 uh, subs. Let's keep keep driving. Uh, let's help as many players as we can, guys. Again, I love all of you, and we will see you guys next video. Peace.